Hey guys, welcome to TOC. This is Abhishek out here. In this lecture, we are going to talk about realloc function. The prerequisite of this lecture is uh, some information about uh, dynamic memory allocation. So please go ahead and watch my lecture either on malloc or calloc before going through this lecture. The cornerstone of dynamic memory allocation is we can modify the allocated space during runtime. And uh, realloc function is going to exploit that uh, you know facility available in uh, dynamic memory allocation and uh, how do we do this let's uh, let's take up an uh, example for instance let's suppose that we have uh, a dynamic dynamically allocated space for uh, five elements of integer one two three four five and the elements are four six seven mm, sixteen okay and the name of the array is a so we have an array for five integral elements and further if we want to modify the size of the array by three let's suppose that we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, to insert three more elements then we can modify the size using the alloc function hmm? Okay. Uh, apparently, uh, let's start some code listing. And apparently, our our goal is to allocate uh, some space for five integral elements using malloc. So uh, let's write some code. <coughs> so this is uh, the list of uh, preprocessor directives. That is uh, hash include studio.h hash include studio.h because uh, all the allocator functions and the free function is available in this uh, header file, mm, and then uh, the main function begins over here. Main function. start of main function okay and int main this is the end of main function <coughs> well uh, the dynamic memory allocation it could be done using malloc or calloc I'm going with the malloc function and as we know that the malloc function returns void asterisk but as we are going to allocate the space for the integral elements so we need to have a pointer to integer and uh, assign it with null well this is done I mean why we are taking this uh, pointer variable always while working with the dynamic memory allocation the main aspect of dynamic memory allocation is we can get the allocated uh, space initial address the initial address of the allocated space as a pointer so we need to have a pointer variable to store that address which could be used further as a handle and this is the main difference between the dynamic memory allocation and the static memory allocation that uh, in dynamic memory allocation we allocate the space using the pointer variable but the but in the static memory allocation we use we allocate the space using some variable name so we have done with this uh, pointer variable and now the size of the array sz and we need some iterating variable that is i okay S uh, let's put a message to enter the size of the ar array please enter the size of array <coughs> scanf mod d ampersand sz all right uh storing in the size 
and now uh, we are going to allocate this space allocation and validation we are doing uh, at the same time so allocation of uh, allocation and validation of array so if uh, if malloc uh, mm, allocates the space successfully then it returns uh, pointer uh, addri uh, start address of the allocated space otherwise it will return null so we will use uh, if statement and in here we are going to int asterisk malloc sz into size of int and compare it with null if it is so then come in and using standard error stream print the message mm. error memory allocation failure and exit 1 <coughs> so this part is done now uh, we need to enter the elements in uh, array so we are uh, we are storing in the elements and uh, for that let's start with the for loop i equals 0 i smaller than s z plus plus i in here scan f mod d m present a of i so the elements have been entered well uh, we have allocated this space stored in the elements and now we have to let's check whether the elements have been entered or not printing out the elements so use for loop for and in here i again equals to 0 i smaller than sz plus plus i and printf mod d a of i hmm? so uh, everything looks fine till now let's execute a z plus plus minus o a b and the name of uh, realloc demo dot slash ab say it is uh, 5 so I didn't put the message 3, 6, 7, 8 so it's always a good practice to put the message before uh, working with anything so printf please enter the elements <coughs> okay so this part is and now we want to modify the size all right so using realloc function we can modify the size so uh, let's check the mm, signature of the realloc function man man realloc this is our realloc function which accepts the pointer variable as the first argument and another is the size by which we have to modify the array or uh, the size uh, which which could be the final one okay so let's uh, we have an array of uh, five integral elements now we want our array to be modified by eight elements so let's do that if uh, and uh, it returns word asterisk 
so here also we need to do some tab casting and we are going to use a itself a which is uh, int asterisk and then a realloc and in here a uh, size underscore t size so 8 8 into size of int this is done and now let's check so uh, for why are we writing again and again take this and in here and uh, 8 but uh, we didn't uh, insert it the element for the three locations uh, so let's check it five this three uh, these three locations this is uh, the initial uh, five elements and then this is done by this part okay so one two three four five six seven eight so we have allocated this space for eight elements so what actually is happening one new array is going to be created for eight elements and this first uh, first five elements are going to be copied from the previous array and three three uh, the space for three elements are, go are going to be unused so we can uh, we can do that by storing in the elements again and again now we can shrink this space also say for instance we are we, uh, we have an array of seven elements and now our array to become mm, the uh, the elements of uh, the uh, the space for uh, you know uh, three elements okay so let's do this say it is three mm. and now uh, right here three Okay, SZ itself. Uh, leave it as SZ. Uh, um, anything else? No, no. Say so it is 7. The elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. See. After 8, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. <coughs> so we have allocated this space, and then we are shrinking it by three. So uh, here, it's here also we are uh, going. We are seeing that we have uh, we have shrink the space uh, of the array. So uh, we can do this. We can increment the size of the array. We can shrink the size of the array. And if we put here zero, then what will happen <coughs> say it's five segmentation fault that means there is no array anymore I mean uh, the we have uh, we have uh, you know allocated the space and it's a kind of deallocation so if if we write this kind of instruction then this realloc function is working as a free function and a realloc function can be used as a malloc also so for that we need to put here null if we if we put here null then and uh, and then uh, insert some size over here size for five or seven elements then it will work as realloc uh, as malloc function so this is how this realloc function works and uh, we can use this realloc function to sh to shrink or grow the size of the dynamically allocated space and uh, we can use this uh, realloc function as malloc or and free function and this is the uh, you know main uh, you know facility available in the dynamic memory allocation that uh, we can uh, 
grow the size of the allocated space we can shrink the size of the allocated space and then uh, this is how it works and I think uh, uh, you have got the basic ideas of a realloc function thanks very much gentlemen God bless